Supreme Court decision stated that segregation or Jim Crowism in interstate transportation was unconstitutional. Freedom Rides in 1961 was to take place to force the federal government to enforce those laws. So where in most jurisdictions, the police departments in the South said that they were breaking the law, they were not breaking the law. I never thought about not going. It was like I was supposed to be there. It's important to realize we dropped out of school in the middle of our exams. Yep. The middle of our exams. And the first ones who were ready to go were those who were in the leadership position because we had certain principles. In nonviolence, you do not allow violence to stop your movement. We also felt that we had to lead the way. We couldn't wait until school was out because we had to set the tone. I remember being fingerprinted, photographed. I remember all of that. And I made up my mind then that this is the only reason that I'm ever going to jail or to the penitentiary. I'll never do anything to place myself in a situation like this, other than the Freedom Rider. And there were some people in front of me that said they hope all those ends die. We had not expected to get out of that alive. I felt a presence, an overpowering calm. that just said, no matter what happens, whether I live or whether I die, it's gonna be all right. So Bull Connor put us in jail for our own protection, he said. We were singing, we shall overcome, I shall not be moved. All of those types of songs we were singing in prison. We were like a trained army. We were warriors. Yeah, mm -hmm. Most of us, who were able to get off that bus was suffering from smoke inhalation. And uh, when the ambulance came, uh, they would not treat uh, the black victims. So a black ambulance uh, came and they were not allowed to take the whites. The mob followed us to the hospital and after a period of maybe an hour or so, uh, threatening to break into the hospital to get us. And then they finally told the hospital officials that if they did not send us out, they would burn the hospital. I got back to Nashville, Tennessee, and a call from Dr. Davis. He issued me a letter that says, you have been expelled from Tennessee State University. And I couldn't go home to face my mother. My mother told me, don't come home. Each one of us played a small part in completely changing the character of this country.